live, local, late breaking. This is KSAT 12 Nightly in HD. Good evening, I'm Steve Spreester. And I'm Ursula Lep September is Leukemia and Lymphoma Awareness Month. And tonight, a local woman's battle with leukemia will inspire you. As the night team's Jennifer Dodd reports, she sheds light on new drugs that saved her when nothing else worked. Diane Rodriguez battled leukemia for six years. Diagnosed in April of 2004, doctors tried mm -hmm. everything. There was no other medication out there. Mm -hmm that they knew of yet mm -hmm. that I could possibly benefit from. Finally, they told her the only option she had left was entering a drug trial. So she turned to Dr. Swami Padmanabhan at the Cancer Therapy Research Center. When we saw her, she had failed four different standard therapies, including uh, one experimental therapy. Still, Dr. Padmanabhan thought there was hope for Diane. He entered her into a trial for a drug called STA9090. The drug targets a protein called the heat shock protein 90. That is believed to aid in the development of cancer cells. Dr. Padmanabhan's research published in the Journal of the American Society of Hematology shows STA 9090 to be successful in inhibiting the heat shock protein 90, ultimately keeping the cancer from growing. It's something very early in its development. After being on the drug for less than a year, Diane was finally healthy enough to undergo a second bone marrow transplant. This one was successful, and now for the first time, since 2004, Diane is in remission. I was so happy. I was crying and crying. and I cried all the way home. <laughs> right now, right now, I'm feeling great. I'm ready to go out there and start cutting grass. At the Cancer Therapy Research Center, Jennifer Dodd, KSAT 12 News.